Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about money management and finance, and specifically building your wealth, building your financial wealth and net worth. Now you may say, what is this guy wearing this kind of beaten up, worn college hoodie gonna tell me about money management? And that's exactly what I want to engage with in this video. I was very deliberate about choosing to wear this hoodie kind of like as a symbolic thing. If you look in society and you look at professions that are typically associated with like financial advising, investment banking, sort of money-oriented professions like that, the norm is for people to have this kind of spiffy, clean-cut, shiny, new business attire. So like a suit, a like button-down shirt that looks really crisp, a tie, and so on. I think that there's a sort of symbolism in that, and I'm sort of choosing to take on a different kind of symbolism here. I think that in American society there's often a lot of focus on outward displays of material wealth. That's not what I really care about. I don't care about having this outwardly lavish lifestyle. I don't need to have a shiny new car. My car is a used car, and it actually has a prominent dent in the driver's side door. And I'm probably not ever going to get that dent fixed, because it would cost a few hundred dollars, and it's purely aesthetic. So right now, I've explained to you a little bit about my philosophy of money management. I care more about saving money and sort of building up my long-term financial flexibility than I do about these sort of aesthetic things, these outward appearances. And that's why I'm dressed this way. Uh, this is the way I normally dress. I wear this hoodie very often. I have like three hoodies. I'm probably wearing them like 90% of the time in hoodie weather. So anyway, what I'm motivated by is building financial freedom and flexibility. Like, I want to save money and build up my net worth so that I have this, this financial resource that I can use to kind of liberate myself. Like, there are a lot of things already that I've done in my life that I wouldn't have, have been able to do at all without a financial cushion. For example, I've run my own business twice. I'm working on my, my second business now. I run RateT.com, a website about tea. Uh, my first business I did like computer consulting. And when you start a new business, you often don't make very much money right up front. So you need this sort of financial reserve in order to take on that risk and then do this thing, even if it ends up being very fruitful in the end. I also like having a cushion because I don't want to sort of have to work all the time. And I'm willing to sacrifice material things in my life in order to have the ability to build up that cushion. So that's my philosophy. And if you like that, if that's something that you want, I would encourage you to stay tuned because I'm planning to make a whole series of videos on money management, and how to build up your net worth. I would like to challenge this idea in society, get people to stop focusing on these outward displays of wealth, and say, hey, I think for a lot of people, that's not really what matters. Like, if we want freedom, if we want flexibility, uh, if we want to improve the quality of our life in the long run, we want to build up wealth, and you can often do that by being frugal. So uh, stay tuned, uh, please comment if you want, and please uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more. Thank you.